Hey folks, welcome back to Ostriff. I've decided to give our forestry B team another try. I got to thinking, maybe I was a little too hard on them. I don't know. They never seemed to do anything I wanted them to do down over here. But then maybe the jobs that I wanted them to help out with were too far away. I mean, we were doing a lot of work over there. And when they failed to take the trees down over here, maybe those weren't the next jobs that were queued up so they wouldn't have anyway. So we're getting to the point to where this is going to be the job. And it's very possible, if the system works like I thought it was supposed to, that they would then help out. So maybe this will give us one last chance to see if that's, if that's possible. There's 51 trees to get out of here. And we're about to get more workers available because fishing is about to shut down. And I could not get salt to come down here no matter what. And I started getting comments about, you know, telling me that I had not enabled fish drying or, you know, dry fish. Or what, do you, what are they calling it? Dried fish. Okay. Salting. <clears throat> but there's no button here that says enable dried fish. Like there would be to supply for oxen or prioritize gathering. Turns out it's this guy. This is what determines that you want it. And this one was set at, hello, at zero. And so even though I had said, okay, bring 400. So I kept waiting for them to bring the 400. So we'll set that up around the 500 mark. And yeah, that's just a number I picked off the top of my head. There's 172 available. And I they salt's on its way. And I did say to this, a, we've got a 17 year old girl bringing it over. Okay. I thought some big burly guy was gonna bring a cart full. <laughs> I mean, it's sitting right here. You just need to... How much is she bringing? She's bringing 160 salt. Okay. She's got this. Cool. Anyway, uh, now that we're shifting into... All the kids are helping. Shifting into December. We're about to freeze the river. And they're about to, to be done with... Uh, fishing but i do want to have at least one person we just shifted one person on through the winter to continue salting these fish and we do have oh, 35 more fish are on their way in that's probably you and you just came in so you're gonna drop your fish off too okay snow is just starting to fall so in between episodes i set up some more uh hay dryers not hair dryers, but hay dryers, <laughs> to just remind me we need uh, other sources of collecting hay next year until we get that kind of balanced out. Just in case these cows that do arrive at some point when we when we purchase them are going to stay inside for the year because we're not going to actually have a fallow field this time. So I don't know what the time is going to be. We didn't see cattle for sale all last episode, if I remember right, or if we did, it was at the very beginning. Anyway, I did squeeze in a odd-shaped field over here just to get some buckwheat growing, just to give us one more round of chicken food to get through next year. We still have 97 here and 490 here. Do we still have any chicken food around? Um, we've got a little bit of buckwheat left and a little bit of linseed left. And hay and water are starting to collect in here for the future oxen. So, because I, I clicked supply for oxen. So this says, do you want to supply for them even though you don't have them? I expected there was something over here saying, do you want to bring salt? And there wasn't, so I said, okay, they're going to bring salt. So, <laughs> yeah, it wasn't that intuitive. And, yeah, anyway. Um, so, that's ready for next year. These two are, I set potatoes in there. I re redid that a little bit. We gotta bring in a food crop. I and mean, there are very few crops that you can immediately turn into food. So that's a food crop. This, well, eventually sunflower oil could be if we didn't sell it, but it'd be nice to sell it. Eight trees left in here and that one's ready. So that was started at 17. So it will definitely be done soon. And then they'll move over to here. You guys have three and you're officially 
working your way around to go take another log out of the forest. Yep. Yeah. Yep, yeah, I'll leave them alone until we clear out these eight. But they're definitely not walking over to help with this. And that is not very far away. So I suspect that means they are not going to help, even if it's right next door. Yeah. They're over here. And they're just going to keep uh, cleaning up the woods. What can we do with that space back there? Guess we could put one more house up in here. Yeah, it's possible. Okay, so what else changed in between? Uh, we did play with the taxes a little bit. Oh, I I lowered the wealth threshold down another notch. Took it down to 60. Up the, the taxes a little bit. We've got a good chunk of folks right in here. And if we go to buy cattle, then we're going to need some money in the bank. So I kind of need to get building up that, that money to do that so that I can feed them. So, yeah, they're, they're going to get a little extra tax right now to and, and once we start to balance out again and things start working better then we can always put put that back but we need it right now um i spent the last half of last episode didn't even notice this thing got done yeah so let's put in a worker there and what goes in there <clears throat> Potatoes for convenience, but it isn't truly needed. I mean, there's plenty of room here. Right there. Until we get a lot bigger, it's going to be hard to fill up 10,000 into the farm faster than we're going to be able to use it throughout that next year before the next harvest. So I don't really need to store potatoes here and bring a laborer in to move it from here to there back and forth instead of walking over here and putting more firewood in. You know, I keep coming up with all these other jobs that could be spent filling up the uh, the fire the, the the charcoal piles so i'd say that's a no wheat was convenient for this guy but we're delivering it supposedly with laborers so whether they're going to keep it here and bring it over or keep it here and bring it over because that's going away doesn't really make a difference they should instead be bringing over 600 wheat and well and there is 540 there there is okay uh we're taking flour out as fast as we make it so i don't see us ever building up a large quantity of flour in there okay so we'll just leave the wheat, wheat here too so this one may not actually be used for a while flour is not needed either <clears throat> it's either going to go into the markets immediately by whoever's working there or it's going to go down to one of these two traders so and if we get in trouble i can just turn it off and they can bring it all back in <clears throat> because if i set up a reserve of say 500 flour in here as soon as they bring the 30 over they're just going to grab it and bring it over here and now we've just walked it twice that's what i'm thinking of maybe when there are two f mills two you know uh, windmills then that would work but right now I don't think there was ever any flour stored here they just kept taking it out as fast as it went in I'm trying to reason my way through all of this and I'm not coming up with a reason to stock this thing so you're saying wheat, potatoes, buckwheat fish, dried fish, salt that's just a whole bunch of carrying things around it kind of is you want the fish sitting down here. Now, there's an advantage to getting it halfway here, the fish. Okay. For the market over here. Pause. Don't start bringing things, guys. Um, so if we brought 100 fish up here and 100 dried fish up here, then they'd be available for that market over there. These guys are just going to grab it right out of the docks. We don't need to make the run. Okay. Salt is a no. It's either stored in the dock we bought it in, or maybe later, even storing it here, there's 10,000 space for storage. We're not going to have that much. And we're already starting to build up supplies for this one, just kind of gradually. So 300 water, that would eventually be 500 water. 
and probably 500 hay just to make sure that's always there. 5,000 firewood, that should be pretty easy to, to fill up. Maybe with 1,000 charcoal as backup. Okay, so food reserve less than a month. Okay, all right. So in that case, we don't need wheat. We don't need potatoes. We don't need buckwheat. I need the buckwheat taken directly to here. There's no point storing it somewhere else when they're the ones that are going to need it. In fact, I'd kind of like that done a little bit sooner. If you guys could just get to working on that. Let's, for now, take this quantity down a little bit so there's enough to, to share. So, 300 and 300. So we can get two or 300 into this one as well. And we may, in the end, need to... Uh, Need to buy a little more before we get to the next harvest and get is this one buckwheat. Uh, next year is this one is potatoes and fallow. This one we'll have to decide what it's going to be. Six trees left. Okay, so winter is here. Foods. <clears throat> what did we ever end up with? We have some honey, and that's about it. There probably is no reason to even employ this person then. The odds that extras are going to suddenly appear in the system or well one person might move in with too much that's about it so is there a reason to even have a person in here I'm not seeing it and this one that too we saw her onions go up and get onions from here so if she can reach here for onions, I'm sure she can also reach here for where the honey go. Honey didn't drop into one of these. Interesting. Let's do it manually. So, where are you? There you are. So, honey can go into there and 1250 like all the rest and buy it. And was there any left in the trader? I think we bought it from here. No, so that's all gone. Okay. So she's probably not needed either. That's probably a thing. Even if she went to go get from the other ones. So beetroot 144. Beetroot right there. We're asking for 100. And she hasn't bothered... Oh, because I took that off. Okay, so let's set that to more like 75 no 50 and although but he, well, I can use her temporarily I guess to bring a few things down here but whoever's selling beetroot could just walk up there and get it too am I wrong we don't have someone selected anything left there's a few more okay one of you can go and do this but you're not going to do buckwheat but cabbage and beetroot and you can go and get it yeah, I don't think it's... Let's just shut them down. I don't think it's needed anymore. Let's watch her and make sure that she can, in fact, walk over there and get those supplies. Whoever this turns out to be. And I assume it's one of these two after they go home and sulk for four or five days. And then uh, and then start up again. So we'll try to remember to walk back in there and see that. Okay, <clears throat> so what is next? Speed it up. Let's see if we can get through winter this episode. Um... So, yeah, it would be nice to get more supplies coming over here. Why they're not making the trip, I don't know. They were willing to to take the, the buckwheat to here. Now, someone's coming to get this. Okay, pause. Who was that? Did that trigger when it was here? It did not. You were doing what, though? You are going to work. Okay, we'll come back to you. Who's getting the buckwheat? Because I need it to go here. And it's not. That's worrying me. You don't need any more. Where is the buckwheat going? Alright, so who... Okay, someone... You. Where are you taking that? You took it directly to your house. Okay, what? What? 
I thought they had to buy it from a local market. Local stall. But she lives there. Never mind. Show path. That's kind of confusing. Yeah. You are taking it to here. You are selling buckwheat. Okay. Well, you drop that off. And then we're going to take that out of there. And if I were to refresh you, your buckwheat. Okay, none. All right. So that's going to arrive. There she is. And there's... And ten of it just went away. <laughs> Someone's going to buy it right there. I don't know. Anyway, I need to make sure it makes it into here. And that is not happening. Hmm. Worst comes to worst, we'll shift some chickens around if we have to. But, yeah, getting that... I'll tell you, getting the second chicken coop stocked, I hope it's not as hard as getting the second forestry to take logs down. It's like the, the first one gets all of the priority, and the second one is just, you know, decoration. I, I don't know. You guys are doing what right now? You're just kind of working, working, working. Nobody's doing anything because they've got their 19, and they're not helping anymore. Yep, okay, that is a total fail. It is never, ever going to work. I give up. You guys are it, and you're going to be a full crew of five from here on out. All right, then. Well, that answers that question. Um, so you are down to four trees left. You should be done well into January. Messenger from Dirkachi. We've got our charcoal buyers back. All right. Right there. Dirkachi, you want to buy charcoal. Yes. Let's do that immediately. Um, looking at 450. So we started the episode or ended last one at about 400. So we've gained 50 over the the last month or so. So positive into the treasury through taxes at this point. So if we sell this one immediately, they can handle another 5,000. Okay, so they could have handled 10,000. So I'm curious if they will, let's see, we're running it. If, if we can restock this thing fast enough to sell them another five. There's five sitting right there. Uh, there. There's, you are, there's 13 left in there. What have you got? You have got seven left, 7,000. And you're getting ready to build it for the next one. Okay. You are sitting on 5,000. You're fine. Um, where are we at anyway? We've got 100 metal parts and 1,000 nails. These guys have stopped working. And I didn't even notice that. Okay. Which means you're done too. You're at your 1,000 and you're maxed out. Uh-huh. So, I guess I could just get you working again getting some more metal parts we're going to eventually use these metal parts but interesting so the charcoal demand has finally caught up we'll get back into building here soon and start using up more of those nails but and we've got a thousand nails sitting in here too don't we right there yeah so in that case you guys are free to go and fill up some charcoal piles yeah um I'll take you down to one. One here, one there, just to uh, not bankrupt me when I forget that you guys aren't working anymore. And we certainly start running low on parts and nails. But that frees up a couple guys to start quickly hauling some more charcoal. Oh, the charcoal won't leave. All right, let's put 10,000 in here just to give us a demand. Until the messenger arrives to empty it then the other ones won't come in so now can I I'm curious is are you allowed to do the same thing twice can I do another charcoal uh, available no it won't let me even choose it a second line with a temporary stock of another 5,000 charcoal so I can't do that all right so 10,000 
and then I'll have to manually bring that back down to 5,000 after it comes in. But it'd be nice to sell two runs to them. And the town apparently isn't eating it right now, except for maybe these guys later. Okay, now that all changes, of course, when the brickworks goes in and the lime kiln goes in and all the other higher end buildings those will take a ridiculous amount of charcoal and then we've got to have a much more intense charcoal industry going but except for shortages from just lack of labor lack of manpower we haven't actually needed that much just making nails it's not like you know late game or end game uh, quantities village house is complete so they're still building houses but these guys are taking trees down Great. Which house was it? Over here. So we're slowly getting this neighborhood built up. And they're a little more central, a little more closer to whatever other jobs come in. Now, it was brought up the idea that maybe we should really think about having a second farm going for this next season. I don't know that we've got the, the manpower to plant it. That's kind of the thing. As more houses go in, maybe they will supply something here. But I guess if we're going to attempt it, I need to probably set it. I just don't know if that's even reasonable. But there's a nice little spot right here. And I think the trees at this size don't need to be cut down. Is that right? Are they just kind of vanish? If I were to try to set a farm right in here, uneven terrain, okay... So, spin you around, bring you in like this, aiming downhill. You really can't pull that off. Let's see, T. Now, there's no spot in there that makes that red go away. Okay, not until I get up into the trees a bit more. So, that's not a thing. If I get too far away, there's a good chance that we're not going to get anybody willing to... Well, to build it, let alone employ it. Yeah. These houses here would not employ jobs up in here. I don't think they would even employ them over here, but maybe they would have. They definitely would not do anything over here. There to there. So building this here is closer to these than these guys are to there. So it's possible that we are still within a decent walking range. Hmm. So if I were to set a... The farm building's the hard part. The fields will go anywhere. It doesn't matter the slope. The farm building is a lot more a lot more picky. Um, and we've got to take a bunch of trees down then. Which means it's not going to happen this season anyway. Yeah. Unless I were to drop the farm building here and then set its fields over here and talk about inefficient no we'll we'll keep this going um bring you let's see we've got a thousand on its way in one of our guys is doing it nobody has jumped in as as uh laborers and whatever happened here so i wanted to see this before too much time went by you're the new one and you've already brought in the beetroots and the cabbage so you can reach these just fine. I don't need these. Okay. So I assume that somebody will pull this out of here even if somebody's not working. Like the warehouse. I think the worker is needed to purchase. But right now it's just counting as storage. So I think that's okay. So I don't need to worry about this right now. We'll keep these two unmanned. Um... Let's see, that is this one, and we're not seasonal hiring anyway, so it is fine. No one's going to suddenly be rehired there. Okay, you got all four carts? You did. All right, so I think I'm done micromanaging this area for a while. Soon we're going to have these houses go in. Beck, what are you? You're over there. Next batch of houses there. There are two more in this area. Where are the ones for over there? You are. And you are. Okay. Um, we'll wait on those till we get more jobs over here. Okay. So what else do I need to do with Drakachi? I'm kind of doing too many things at once right now. And now I've got 18 days left. That's why I'm not running it fast. Um, shoes for sale? We do have. So let's do that. 500. 
So our town should have plenty of shoes. Deal. Uh, buckwheat, charcoal. The other charcoal hasn't arrived, and I'm not going to risk that yet. I'll wait till we get closer to five or six days left and see what's going on. They're going to come in 1,000 at a time. Shoes. Oh, there's probably five carts stacked on top of each other right there. So, yeah, if I, although I've only got five orders that I can do on demand. I was going to say if I did five carts of a thousand, then we might see them all staggered. Anyway, chicken eggs, we don't have anything to get rid of. Um, some fire oil, we don't. Clothes, actually do. And this is where we can build up our income for... I didn't even look. Are there cows in there? There are cows in there. Ooh. Okay. Then we'll do the 180. Are we ready for cows? I think we are. Uh, sunflower clothes, honey, apples. There are no apples left in the system. Town storage, zero. Yeah. Um, all right. So to purchase salt. Salt, there's 30. Left in a storage of some kind. You can't fish in the winter. So all this is done. So your job just lasts now until these batches are finished. Your job is you're on the last batch. I could send you home here in just a little bit. And our boats all need to be repaired there. And these probably won't need to be. So one person this year... In the boat yard next year two persons one for each one to do three boats each okay um just thinking ahead of time salt is still looking like there's only 30 in there you've got 370 you've got 160 let's get another 500 salt coming before we run all of our money out buying cows i want to make sure that we've got the basics in place so 500 salt coming in deal lime leather leather is something i do want to keep going i was told not to buy hemp anymore that if i did the math it actually costs more to make clothes with hemp purchased hemp than we're going to sell the clothes for hadn't stopped to do the math i just made the assumption that raw materials will always be less than than what you sell it for but i guess that's not always the case um your textile leather is over here there's 600 over here there's nothing more in storage anymore there's nothing sitting down in here anymore so it's all up there 600 leather and we're using that leather to make shoes and shoes are bringing us a a good amount of money let's in fact i actually have the ability to calculate this out don't i you guys are selling leather how much boy i don't know if i know that answer how much leather per shoes shoemaker why is there no little question mark here <laughs> seriously they all have a description why is there no shoemaker is it just missed s h o so I've got no way of knowing what you're making. Okay. You're making 10. And you're waiting 30. And the broadcloth didn't work. It was an experiment from last episode to see if they would still make some kind... Oh, that's, that's clothing. I'm, I'm not in shoes. Make some kind of warm clothes with only half the ingredients and it doesn't work. Okay. Um, we're maxed out. So there's no way to judge it. Hmm. Okay. Well, then let's do the same thing we just did before. Let's kick this up to 600 so that we will create a draw and get somebody, boom, to go pick that up. So maybe I can see this process once. When these, there we go. So 25, that was 600. So now they took 25 out and they're going to make 50 more. So it's it's one leather makes two shoes okay so down here right there leather costs 25 and one of those makes two shoes and shoes right there 32 so 64 for each 25 
there's what I was hoping to do with hemp, making textiles, making clothes. Okay, so leather is a good deal. So eventually we've got our own cattle, but it's going to take a lot of cattle to make leather. It really is. I think we will always be buying leather. So 250 is too much. But let's say bring 500 in. 125. Mm. I mean, it's going to always make money, but I want to buy cattle. Maybe I'm only buying oxen this time. Maybe we're buying cattle in two phases. We'll see. Um, so bring in the 500. All right. So that is leather. That is salt. Iron, we're fine. Meaning we have plenty of nails and plenty of metal parts. And there's nothing else to here to buy, though I would buy potatoes. You know, Dracachi never came by when we were having a little bit of a food issue of course maybe they were having a food issue as well and that's why they didn't want to come by and sell us potatoes or dried fish so we could have bought some foods had we needed to but it wasn't available to us okay cows what do we do with cows can buy 11 so zero what does a cow cost a cow costs 40 a bull costs 40. Okay. An oxen costs 40. So there's no advantage to buying bulls and then make your own oxen. Okay. Two oxen will get the salt works going. Two more would get some plowing going. Two more we get a lot of plowing going. 240. If we didn't get cows, didn't get milk this time, but got the other things up and going. We don't need the oxen right now for the farms, though, because all the farm fields are 100%. So they're the ones that could wait. Okay. Money's where are we at? We are exporting. So we're bringing in 250. 350, 410, 450. Just seems really high. Like, they're paying us more than I'm used to. I don't think I've ever seen more than 300 come in. Hmm. So, what did I say? 450? Yeah. And that's. So, four, three and a quarter coming in. Okay. And if we made that, I don't know, 400, that would bring us back to about 400. Okay, so cattle, um, let me just wander through here a little bit. So cattle, we've got feed, we've got water, we've got a worker. We've got lots of hay. Over here, we're already building up, well, the beginnings of hay. Let's put a worker in here. And maybe you can get this starting to, uh, to head in here a little bit better. In fact, maybe you, you two of you, so that you can take care of the oxen. We've got food and water for the oxen over here yet. Did you ever get any more feed? You did not. Am I going to have to buy buckwheat just to overwhelm the system to get somebody to haul some buckwheat? So I'm kind of worried about that making it through. Uh, buckwheat is an option. Is not an option nor is wheat nor linseed or anything else that they would eat okay you have to keep an eye on those chickens and i can't make them empty the other chicken coop i did that once in my play test i had 500 in one chicken coop and none in the other so i said empty this one i was going to stop them after a couple hundred went away and they just started killing chickens right <laughs> Instantly, it's like suddenly there's no food available, even though it's still there. And the chickens started dying from starvation. And oh man, so there's no way to to force the system. Once it's there, it's there. Um, okay, so I guess we are just buying cows then. All right, so two oxen for the for the salt works, one bull, and three. Five. Let's go that route. 
I think so. Now, how do we tell the oxen to be delivered to the salt works? Got to figure that out. Is that an automatic thing? But I think that is what I want to do there. So, deal. We have cows coming. Two, speed you up, except I do... Oh, we, have, we already have our, our 10,000 there. Okay. Lower you back down to 5,000. And let's sell another round of uh, charcoal. And that gives us our cushion back. 5,000. Deal. Okay. Now, I didn't reverse this, right? I didn't just buy charcoal instead of selling it or any crazy thing like that. <laughs> any shoes? There's another 500 shoes just showed up. Wow. Okay. I We're doing it. 500. So, deal. That is a lot of money coming in. All right. Set this back to 500. Where are you? Oh, it hasn't actually arrived yet. Oh, that was the same 500. Oops. Yeah, I noticed in the roadmap. Uh, let's set you to 1,000 just for now and get those extra 400 coming. The um, And there it is right there. Okay. The roadmap for this game. One of the things that, they, that he wants to add later is the concept of reputation. So if you do a bunch of faulty sales and they go to all the trouble, I mean, look at that, to get here and you have nothing to sell them, then your reputation crashes and now their prices are probably going to be a lot higher the next time that you want to buy from them. So, yeah, the, the, I'm kind of excited for where the game is going. Uh, diet of Illness. Really? That is Olin. So, Olin... This is, well, we just lost it. Arr, where am I? Here? Diet of Illness. I've not seen that before. Uh, right there. So, were you a child? Um, here. Right there. Olin was eight years old. Died of illness. Wow. Um... I've lost you again. Over here. So an eight-year-old child just died. So health bar, you're over there playing. The rest of the kids in the family seem to be fine. Uh, you're, okay, your food variety is fine. So I know there's a health issue with food variety. There's a health issue with being too close to those three buildings that we read off a few episodes ago. Illness and injuries. So too close to the charcoal pile smeltery and lime kilns. Otherwise, depends on food quality, living and working conditions, and diseases. So they say they're going to get flus in the winter time. But you, in fact, was that in that same one? Uh, illness, no. Right there. Flu. Autumn and spring. Um, I guess... I don't know if this is considered autumn or spring. I, I think it's considered winter. So, if, um, spread disease, relatives, co-workers, chances, recovery depend on general health. General health depends on uh, food quality, living, and working conditions. Everything is in pretty good shape. You are in good shape. And... You are in good shape. So what happened there? And are there any others? There's a 16-year-old um, starting to... Clothes, warm clothes, shoe quality. What is dropping your bar? The house has lots of variety, though maybe it didn't have lots of variety before, and it takes some time to build that health bar back up. So next time we start seeing food issues, we're set. Good. Let's tr go and look at the people in the house and see if, we're, if it's affecting their, ha their health. So you are going to be... Buckwheat's over there. I'm questioning now whether that's enough. This was wheat. I changed it to potatoes. 
you are sunflower. Next year's buckwheat will be great. Um, so we either need a wheat or a buckwheat to supplement more chicken food. That's my thought. Though flax would do it as well, but not by very much. But I've never had a field this big in this series of flax, so maybe then it would be by a lot. Flax was coming into here, but not for a few years. So that does look like we can probably buy wheat and grow flax. I would imagine wheat would cost less than flax. Don't have the ability to prove that, do we? You... Uh, flax is not a thing to purchase. Okay. Um, did the thousand get here? Is that it? Yeah. No, but it's on its way. Okay. So we should be fine there. We should be fine there. All right. And I think I can ship this back to 500 now, right? I don't think that'll stop them from walking it over. I don't think so. You are probably the one. No, you're not. Who's walking it over? You are. You've got 200. And is there another person? You. No. Who's got the other 200? No. You've got... Oh, both of you guys have got 200s. Okay. So that's coming over no matter what. And as long as it is a line item... No one can come back over here and take it. We've seen that already. Flower is a line item. There's 210 flower here. So let's stop that at 200. I kind of want to watch this. So 200 is sitting in there. Let's stop you at 200. And prove to me that we still have some in... Okay, you're having a hard time getting flour. You are probably too far away. The flour is all the way up there. So in that case, flour might be a good thing. That's possible. Um, let's build up some reserve here for this. And for flour, just as a meaty intermediate point um, 1,000 in there you will go get flour and it will be sitting in here for you to then go get flour if you can't reach this point all the way up here I wish there was a way to I don't know to see distance I wish there was another overlay on the map I'm not missing anything am I info overlays workers local markets so that is there. Workers are windmill. Where you work from. Oh, that's interesting. Okay. So the windmill is... is. So if they can walk to work, why can't they go get the next round of, of flour? Where do you work? You work down there. You work over there. I didn't realize this overlay was in here. You, two workers? Two workers, and you're bringing all the goods in. Okay, good. Um, you live here? Interesting. No, you live over there. Aha. Uh -huh. um, I guess the other ones weren't at work. Or did I just lose my overlay? There we go. So I, I take it back. You don't actually live there. You have walked over to there. So that doesn't help. Okay. So workers is not what I was thinking of. Um, houses on hold. Local markets. Show. Yeah, there's nothing more I can glean from there. All right. So that goes away. And so you need to be flax. And at this point, this season will be fallow here. Next season will be fallow there. Next season will be fallow there. By then, we should be plowing, which will extend you out to the fourth year, if I plan this right. So, flax is there. Flax is a bu bunch of blue and a tiny bit of red. So, we could do two rounds of red. 
a potato and a barley or a wheat and a barley is 50 red potato is 50 red we've got 60 green 50 green 30 green so probably either one of these make that the barley and then plowing in between each one will add a little more back so that this is finally the fallow field so I think that's going to work and as we get the a couple more oxen in later that should be a thing okay so with that let's speed it back up I think we've kind of figured out most of the the big question marks uh, close waiting 10 more a um, whole bunch are coming in hopefully I've got it all figured out correctly okay so we should see a a train of wagons on their way in that's the, the original charcoal run five in and back out again clay pit is done that was just a quickie they're gonna start plowing through some things working on the tannery um pause a minute so the slaughterhouse is probably the first thing it just randomly worked its way back into there where is the slaughterhouse it's not done and I didn't know about it is it it is where did you come from okay not ready for it but okay you can sit there so in that case tannery 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 we don't really truly need it yet we really don't we're bringing some of the supplies uh, we need more houses we do this field is being worked on that warehouse is being worked on the fields not going to get done this year so let's get the war the warehouse in and let's see here what else really needs to be done this year brickworks that would give us the ability to start thinking about some of these more higher end projects am i kind of worried about running through my timer realizing yeah because we don't want this going so we'll get a house going just to get something on the, on the list there that's the well for down there so where's this well that's that one this is this one which gets us water for this for that one okay let's bring that one in you're next uh you are over here they're already starting to bring this stuff so let's not swap these two around family settling into our town great you're bringing lots of goodies and so we are fully stocked here and here all the lines are filled is there anything left nothing so i can't add any more to this and a child has been born great so we brought up 220 dried fish we'll go ahead and keep that in stock other fish will be available um, as we need it you can go away so you're done now I'm gonna have to re reset that later if I get rid of these guys but I'd rather use their labor somewhere else for that month you're about to hire as soon as we hit February you're gonna pop in and start repairing boats no that's the last week of February never mind you won't be okay you need to be enabled okay you're good and you are definitely buckwheat for one round don't know if we'd keep you could we do two if we wanted to buckwheat is 60 percent we only could if we plowed it so that's probably not going to be a thing and buckwheat will then be next year in here anyway so yeah there's no no point in that um where am i just out of curiosity 50 or so close to 50 minutes in yeah I spent a lot of time reasoning through things and that's mostly for me but I know a lot of you don't have the game a lot of you may not even be able to play the game so I think unlike most of the other series out there you would appreciate me reasoning through things like the other series out there don't show as if you were playing or getting a chance to play the game yourself too that's kind of why I spent all this extra time here and why the I'm taking plenty of time to do this series to rather than just rushing through it so we're gonna be here for quite some time doing all this how are we in nails we're still fine there and nails we're still doing pretty good there 
you are going to work. You've got a little bit of room to go. Yeah. Um, so we brought all that charcoal down, and it's mostly gone, and we're bringing another 5,000 in. So we've probably cleaned this one out. Charcoal. No, we filled it right back up again. And are we burning another round? Is anybody... They're filling it right now. Oh, and they're emptying it. Okay. So that's working. It is. This one has been sitting here with 400 the entire time. That's where it was when the episode started. And for some reason, they're just not going up there to toss some firewood in. They worked on the other one. You, they've been filling this one up. That was charcoal before. Now it's firewood. So they've, the game almost just picks one and deals with it exclusively. I don't know what it is. So, I don't know. I could make guesses, but I don't know that I would be right. Did the cattle show up? They did. All right. Slow down. So I've got an ox here and it, I've got two oxes. So what happened here? Did the ox arrive? If not, what do I have to do to make that happen? So resources, let's throw in labors. There's no, nothing here that says bring ox over. No draft animals. Does, I know that when you want nothing ordered. Okay, in the farm you order your plow and oxen. I don't see that here. So you will need two horses or two oxen. We bought two oxen. Why do we not have two oxen? One bull, one ox, two years, one ox, one year. So we have two oxen. And so that they're not slaughtered, we hit protect. Um, where's the word protect? An ox should be at least one year old to be used as a draft animal. Okay, we have two. Oxen in the last bowl will never be slaughtered automatically. Okay. All right, so you can read the rest of it there. I'm not getting any sense of how to tell this place to go over and get those two oxen. There's no button to push. We're at a thousand salt. Oh, our production limit is a thousand salt. Okay. Brine stored, which is to do with the water. Uh, well, the water is probably the, actually the uh, draft animals. Um, move, move. Make empty. Enable seasonal hiring. This will probably just run all the way through the season. So we'll turn that off for now. Um, anyone can be a laborer. And how do we want our resources brought and what do we want brought over? And what was the other thing? Wait a minute here. So we need hay or wheat and barley. So I'm assuming that hay is all that's needed here. And we do have it, 500. In fact, for that matter, I could even kick that up even more just to make sure there's never an issue. And same with water. I kind of went up on all of those for the other places I hit. And 500 max. I didn't see that. Okay. So you put a thousand. Come on now. Play nice. You got to go over and you got to go back. There it is. 1,000. Okay. So there's going to be plenty of hay, plenty of water, plenty of firewood and or charcoal. I don't see how to send them over there. I really don't. Use fallow field if available. Overstock limit. When we get past 20, they'll start slaughtering. And they'll start with, I assume, the oldest cows. You let me know how, how that works. Uh, hay reserve and water reserves. Hay reserve is two months at that. So let's... We have 500 max. But we're both these buildings 
are very close to this guy. So that's not a problem. Okay. So they're here. We're employed. I mean, it doesn't actually show it happening, and I'm just not seeing it. No, I assume it's right in there. And you would see them walking around in a circle. So maybe it's just a timing thing. Maybe they'll get there eventually. These guys actually at work. Uh, taking a rest and supplying water. Okay. So kick the speed up again. And let's see what happens. He's going to take a rest, right? Yeah, 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 yeah. Okay, going to work. Well, it all comes down to you, Roman. So let's see what happens. Coming into here, we are at February. We're probably shut down at the end of February so we can see the uh, everyone's sewing. So you're working. You're just sitting there. All right, how do we get the oxen into there? I really want to know. You're sitting over here, and I'll unprotect just in case that was a thing. But we have a two-year oxen, or ox and a one-year ox. So one year or more can be draft animals. And I don't see anything, no draft animals. So how do I tell it that I have two draft animals? I don't know. Um, over here, salt works. You will need two horses or two oxen. Drag and drop the animals from a cow shed. Okay. All those little things that once you do it, you know it. But until you do it, it's like... It, that just wasn't that intuitive to me. They should have... Okay, we need two, and there's two right over there. Okay. Relocating. Now we've got it working. But luckily, uh, you can probably finish the episode. But, yeah, walking an ox over. Let's let's see this happen. And who is walking it? And <laughs> Look at the animation of that. <laughs> okay, that was funny. That was real funny. Um, so you went into there. And it has begun. So the cows are in one place, and you're spinning the floor underneath. That's fascinating. I did not expect that. Are both of them over there? I only saw one. You. Okay. Interesting. So the dairy really should be next then. More so than the slaughter house. Okay. So I need a dairy. And we need to take care of block here real quick. So you are what? And what's left with... The other one, Durkachi, still has 5,000 charcoal to pick up. And are they all stacked in here? They're not on the map. They're not in the woods. I don't know where they are. Yeah, I don't see them. Hmm. So Dukachi's still doing their thing. Let's go play with Balaklia. And Balaklia, yeah. So you would buy from us clothes. We got 50 left. Just to get something going your way. Uh, textile, leather, metal parts, honey. That's about it. Oh, we do have flour in this one. Let's send 200 out. Deal. I would want to buy more wheat. Cows. Um, same price. Same price. 40 per unit. Okay. Cows, horses. We're sitting at 900 right now. Um, is there a point of getting a lot more cows real quick? If we aren't able to milk them yet. I don't know. We don't need any more stone. Can't see it, but... There should be a lot of stone sitting there. Lime, sheep, horses, iron, pigs, cows. Okay. Um, the advantage of getting more cows is that we can get to meat production that much quicker. But it'd be nice to get to milk production as well. So I'm going to pause there. The thought of, buy, of building the new farm was a thing. 
but maybe building the dairy is actually a more important thing. Maybe that is our next priority. The dairy could be up in here. The idea we're going to march the, the cows through town to be slaughtered and then go to the tannery. They could be marched up through here to milk. It's not very efficient, but it'd be fun to watch. Especially the way they seem to walk a cow. <laughs> then would it be a dairy worker that would come down to get a cow? Or do I need to have more cow shed workers to go up and deliver them? Because that would be a never-ending thing if they were a long walk away. That could be almost right here. We have a pathway that we're forming to go down this path here. So I could set a dairy like right in here. Oh, that kind of works. Yeah, think about that. Maybe I'll play with that in between episodes and find out, figure out just where to lay that out. Okay, well, I'm going to pause it here then. Um, we did manage to get the oxen over there. That's good. And it is functioning. Um, everybody left, huh? Going to work, taking rest. So, Brian is stored. Let's kick these guys up a little bit. I think so. In that case, maybe we will do something like seasonal labor. And we'll do four to five, and then one. And one will be the same March and August. So that someone's there to always feed the animals. Maybe. Otherwise, or maybe we'll take it down to two. We'll see. But yeah, this kind of comes to a halt when no one's here. So with two guys, there's a good chance no one's going to be there for quite a while. Quite a bit. Quite often. All right. So, but that is working. And otherwise, let me know your thoughts on challenges we found this episode. Um, I think the fish is doing fine now. We should be hired and repairing these, these boats anytime now. And we need to get a dairy in. And do we buy more cattle? Or do we let these cattle breed and, and do it more slowly? What do you think? Is 40 a lot to spend on a cow so that it's worth letting them breed? Or do we need to get enough in there to start making meat next July before the next famine hits? That's probably more of where I'm leaning. We do have a little cushion right now, and there's still 5,000 more charcoal to sell, right? If I got that right, that it actually hasn't... That was Dirkachi. That's done. So the money is all in. Am I right? I think I'm right. Though I still don't know where those carts are. But I think I'm right. Anyway, thanks for watching, guys. Catch you later. Bye-bye.